Hey everybody, it's Mr. Delusive here with the weekly dev blog. You might have noticed I didn't post last week. That's because I've been pretty much for three weeks in pain. The doctors said it was sinusitis and um, yeah, two weeks ago I pretty much was the worst and didn't do any work on the game and then this week it was pretty bad but um, I got work done. Um, but it wasn't what I was saying in the last video Because I know I wouldn't be able to concentrate as much so I focused on something else and I'll show that off and that's why I'm in the full 3840 by 2160 so you can see it, it This is what it actually looks like well for me because I've got a old HD screen, but I wanted yeah, hopefully this is how I want people to play it, but Obviously, not everyone has the Ultra HD, but this is the new part. So, the all the menus. So this screen as well, the main menu screen was pretty much the first thing I ever did in the game, and that was a year ago. It's actually been a year since I started working on this game. So I guess it it goes in the time, you know, after a whole year. Because I think I started the first week of August. And then I put up the first videos at like the end of August, I can't remember. But um, well maybe it was, but yeah, anyway, so after a whole year, I went back to the first things I ever did. And that was this UI and stuff. So I guess it shows how much I learned this whole year. And, and I've changed up how the system works to the new code. So now like the options, that this section here has its own class now the this has got its own class I clean that up actually I didn't touch that one this has got its own class and I've changed it a little bit but that's now I did that mainly because doing that I can bring I can invoke the options menu class in the gameplay and the dock screens because what actually happens is there's, there's the screen. So I've, I've built a screen manager class that handles what gets output on the screen. And then, you know, say you change screen. So when you click continue game and you go into your, you know, you click continue, it goes from this screen, goes to the loading screen, and then it goes to the docked screen. And then when you launch from the dock screen, it goes to the gameplay screen. And every screen has you know, like the, the dock screen has the UI and it has classes for every single one of those um, tabs. Like there's the cargo bay class and the planetary building class. So it gets broken down further and further. But yeah, now with this, this is the options menu class and then that can be put into all the different screens. Uh, so now I've broken this up as well because I'm anticipating adding more options. Uh, there's probably going to be the classic full screen, even though it lags, but I'll still have that option there. So now the same resolutions can add more. It auto detects as well. So, you know, if people's resolutions aren't on this, they can click auto detect and it it adjusts accordingly but yeah that's borderless full screen and then um, as well if they want that people can go into settings any and manually they have moved the graphics here so that was the main reason I made this because I was planning to add the particle collision effects and that again will have its own settings so that will further fill this page here. Sounds obviously are the same. Controls, I've fit it all into one. So these are still not bindable, but these ones are. So you know, it's all just handled there. So yeah, that's that. And it was kind of a bit of work changing that because it was all the old code the first code I ever wrote for the game pretty much after all the um, 
basics like the screen manager, the input manager and everything. So yeah, as you can see here, if I change the resolution, so let's go to that one. On this screen, it reloads. So if I just, I'll just leave this like that in the corner of the um, video here, just for the sec. So yeah, as you can see on the dock screen, it reloads. So if I go back, it will reload. There's this funky display thing here, and that's because of how I'm handling the transition, screen transition. All right, so let's say we go into here. Now having it reload the screen wouldn't work well because let's say, you know, we've killed a few enemies and then we go, oh, even though it doesn't make sense, but all right, let's say that. And then we're like, oh, I've got to change the resolution. So if I reload, it would reset the, the, um, the screen. So I've just had it reposition, just some bare stuff. So the issue with that though is, as you can see here, these dust particles in the foreground, they don't um, repeat until you know you move a bit. So yeah, so even I guess you can really see it if I do this. And this is the the um, low res mode which I'm still working on. So if I do this, right, I think this will... Um, yeah, and then I go back. You'll see them all in one little square. Here. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's all in one square until they reach the edge and then repeat. See that? So then they'll eventually spread out again. So that's one issue. Another thing is adjusting the particle limit in the gameplay. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. So say we, we've got a, I don't want to test it out because it'll probably call, cause a null reference. But say we're using a missile. I wonder if that's the same position the ship started. Anyway, so yeah, say we're using a ship that uses the missiles that have all the smoke. So say I've shot like, yeah, five bullets, whatever, in this smoke. And then we go here and turn it off. It might cause a null reference because it's saying um, there's zero. Yeah, I don't know, I have to look into the code. But... You gotta see how that interacts. But yeah, you can do the key bind adjustments here as well. So if I say, you know, put this is a thing. Move up and left both as A. There. And that saves automatically. There. So yeah, that's what I've done this week pretty much and just fix that um, crossover damage bug. It's not much to show off, but that was pretty much, yeah. It took a while because of all the old code, rewriting it all and changing it all. So that's what took up a bit. But then, yeah, I didn't work as much as I usually do this week because of the the pain in my eyes still. But, yeah, hopefully this week um, I'll finish the rest of those, well, that smoke. Yeah, the smoke thing I'll test out and then get started on the collision, particle collision effects. So you guys, I'll leave this video at that. Thanks for watching.